Hey, welcome everybody. This is Pastor Ted Gerges with the New Day Church. And as you can see right now, I'm joined by uh, by Rohil and his son Abner. And they're yeah. in Pakistan right now. How are you guys doing? Hey, Abner. Hello, everyone. God bless you all. We so so guys, this is an update we wanted to give you on the um, on what's happening with the with the new church plant, the new a new day church in Pakistan, and we wanted to kind of give you an update on that. It's awesome, uh, Rohil. I just wanted to, to give you the update also that we are now about two thousand dollars in. Okay, and praise God, about, Hallelujah. Yes, this is exciting. Praise God. And um, you know, one of the things I wanted to uh, to tell Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah that the the gofundme page that i have people donating to you you may not see two thousand dollars there and i'm going to tell you why um because you don't have to just give on gofundme we have people who are giving us checks we have people who are giving us cash and we have people who are also donating on the the on our a new day church app that we have okay but some will like to do it on gofundme as well so you have a preference whatever you want to do you can give to us but we're about two thousand dollars now and praise God, that's awesome. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thanks, God. I want to remind everybody, Rohil is one is the leader that's going to be leading uh, our, our Pakistan church. And um, Rohil, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And uh, uh, so right now, right, your, your father-in-law is going to be pastoring the church. Yes, brother. He is a great man of God. And uh, for some of you, I'd like to uh, to show you some of the just a small tidbit of what they do uh, ministry wise in, in Pakistan. So I'm going to show you a video and uh, I'll have um, Rohil, maybe you can explain what's going on here. Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. This uh, is our mission uh, when we visit a Bricklin village. Uh, Bricklin mean like where people make uh, have factory and bricks making. So a lot of Christian people are slaves there. They are doing too much hard work there and they are totally not available to go to church Sunday service available for Bible study. You know, like they are totally in the dark side in our area because the country is totally dark, but uh, they are in a dark area. So we visit their share free Bibles, teaching children about Jesus Christ and uh, share Bibles free door to door. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, Rohil, that's just absolutely amazing. And um, we're we're so thankful and grateful. I've known for Rohil for over three years now. And what a great man of God. And, uh, you know, one of the things I love about you, Rohil, even like right now, your family is, it's, it always goes in the priority that it should be. God's always first in our life, then our family, Amen. and then ministry is after that you know, anything we do there. And I am, and I'm so appreciative. Uh, he's with Abner right now because you know, family is everything I know. And I appreciate it right now. It happens to be morning for me uh, and it's nighttime for, for uh, Rohil and his family. And so the kids need it's to almost get 11 PM. It's almost 11. So I'll try to keep it real short. Rohil, this is really exciting. What's going on. Uh, I want to remind everybody that uh, here's how this works. We're going to be, we're trying to raise $22,000. Now that's, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to what some of these mega churches and stuff try to do. We're just a small church and we've got, we have a, a relationship with a tremendous family uh, in Pakistan and they are serving the Lord. Now, the problem is, is that they've been doing church from a variety of different homes that they've had, but the, but the Muslim pop population keeps kicking them out after a short period of time. And they're not allowed to have an official church because they're only renting. OK, and and then not to mention the, the Muslims don't like that and they end up kicking them out. So what we're doing is we're going to raise this money to build a place that, of a house of worship that will also be a home for them. OK, so yeah. we're doing three phases for Rohil. And the first phase is going to be uh, buying the land. OK, yes. And buying the land secures where where are we going to have the church at? And, and there's a, a, a beautiful spot they have uh, in a, in a Christian, more populated Christian area. Uh, that they're going to be able to do that. That we we need about eight thousand dollars, and we've got two thousand of that right now. Okay, so we need your help to secure this land, and then after yes. that, we're going to build. Uh, we're going to build the the first floor of the building, which will allow Rohil, Usha, Abner, and Baby Rose to live in in the 
in the bottom floor of the of the house. Okay. In a safe place. It's a safe place. Yes. And that's the most important because we want to keep him out of harm's way, the whole family. And then phase three will be building the actual church portion of it, the the worship portion on the top, the second floor. And um, this is exciting, Rohio, because we, we talked about, you know, we're, we're doing a, a kind of a fun part of it where if anybody who wants to donate $100, um, I'm going to give you a free book while supplies last only because I only got so many of these books. 70 times 10. This is 70 times 7. This is by Monty Christensen. It's an incredible book about forgiveness. So um, be one of the first ones to get this book. But Rohil and I talked about um, we're, we're going to also do bricks uh, with yeah. your name, your family name on it. And what's the name of the wall that you're going to be? Uh, it's the legacy wall. The legacy wall. I love that because... Exactly. What a what a perfect thing. I want everybody out there to think about this. When you donate a hundred dollars, okay, a brick with your your name, your family name is going to be placed in the church so that yeah. permanently you're a part of a legacy of this church in Pakistan, that lives are coming to know Jesus Christ. Rohil and anybody, all the people that come to know Jesus in this ministry, in this building, yeah. your, name, your name permanently there. What a blessing. Bro, Hill, that's just tremendous. And um, we are just so proud of you and so proud of all the things that you're doing. And we're so grateful. Um, what a great missions endeavor this is, you know. And this is uh, what I want to tell you, everyone. Uh, this building that it's it's a very important for us because this building where all the children get Bible study. Mm, safe place. Because we teach people... Uh, we not teach everyone go to very far and visit children. You know, sometimes it's very difficult because of here situation are not people and children and they can read Bible study. And uh, people do safely worship in this building. Amen. And number three, if anyone needs a, a marriage place for the pastor, needs to do a marriage. So our church is open for people to save and holy marriages here because it's very important for, for us to, uh, to reach out to make uh, this building uh, for people to come and uh, do a safely worship to the Lord. Amen. So you're so it'll be a church for normal services. It'll be a church for kids to have Bible studies in and and to be able to be reached. Um, it's a place where now they can Christian weddings can now take yeah. place in the church. Okay, because that's one of the hardest things is for Christians to get married in Pakistan because yeah. it's ninety seven percent Muslim and they they don't want to marry you. It's, it's really sometimes like the, uh, sometimes the the landlord not give land for for Christians to for marriage. So it's it's really difficult to to do marriage and some comes together fellowship people in one room. How yeah. can do this? So that's why our church hall is available for people in future for 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 marriages where our pastor, my father-in-law, do uh, 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 marriage there for for public. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Rohil, thank you so much for that. I want you all to be excited. We have two thousand dollars now. OK, and we're on our way. We've only just started. This is your opportunity to invest in the kingdom of God. This is your opportunity to invest in a third world country that needs help. And we have people there right now that are willing to help. We have Rohil and his family are there. They want to help people. They want to reach out. They want Christians to come to. They want people to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. OK, all we need is the, is to do the small part. And that's bring the finances in. OK, because this dream can come true and you get to be, you get to be a part of it. And even even more, your name could be in this building permanently as a legacy, a family legacy, knowing that I know them. I was part of that church. And, and however long this building is there, you can be a part of knowing that people are coming to know the Lord through your help and your dollars. So again, you can go under in this link when you see this video on the bottom, you'll see where the GoFundMe page is. You can donate on GoFundMe. You can donate if you download our app. Okay, you go to your phone store and you and you type in "This is a new day." Okay, the directions will be down below. Uh, you can download our app and you can give there, 
Um, you can also give just, you can mail a check and the address will be down below. You can mail a check or you can, you can send cash. I, I have Venmo, I have cash app, whatever you need, PayPal, we have it all. But here's the most important thing. I want you to pray about it. You pray about what God is putting on your heart. Maybe it's more than a hundred dollars. Maybe you want to donate $1,000. Maybe you're a businessman out there who's saying, wow, I'd like a good write-off, and I want, to, I want to put my money in something that's special. Well, this is it. This is something special, okay? Yes. This, is, this is forever. This is not only uh, you know, helping a family. It's helping a nation come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and you get to be a part of that. So, um so thank you ahead of time for your giving. And uh, Rohil, I just want to thank you for staying up late with us and joining us. And, um, you know, you're just, you're a great man of God. We appreciate you so very much. And, um, you know, the people do. So uh, we thank you again. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, sign off now and I'll, and I'll get this all set up. So good night, Abner. Thank you guys for staying up good late. Good night. Good night. Goodbye, Bye. Bye. And we love you all. Thank you so much for your prayers for your donations is really, really much appreciated. And uh, I just want to tell everyone, this is a new day. Amen. Thank you.